praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord guys i am on my way to work and i just feel like god just giving me a song y'all i sent a text message to um to my son's dad just encouraging prayer for our son because even though we're in separate relationships I just want to make sure that our son is emotionally healed and emotionally strong. And if there's anything that he's dealing with, anything that he's sad about, I just want him to just be able for us to be able, both be like on one accord and be able to pray together for our son. Even though we're not together, he's, you know, dating and I'm praying for a future husband. And so we're separate cars going opposite ways. And we're trying to raise our son together, but we're also building relationships with other people. And so um, I just wanted to bring to his attention, you know, that, um, you know, my, our son was a little sad and he was crying a little bit. So just bringing it to God so that God could just bless Micah's um, heart and just like strengthen him and, you know, and, and I just pray, you know, I haven't always made the best decisions, but when God blesses me with a husband, I want to make sure somebody that's going to be able to, you know, encourage Micah, build Micah up, strengthen Micah, and be a great stepfather to Micah. And so, guys, just praying for that. If you guys could just pray for me as well, in the name of Jesus Christ, as well as my other son, Keon. Me and his dad aren't together, and his dad has um, a girlfriend, and they just had a baby together. And um, so... And of course, I'm praying for, uh, I, you know, I'm praying for my future spouse as well. And so it's really not, it, it, I mean, I always try to pray and say, God, let the best be spoken out of my mouth because I always want to speak with wisdom. And one thing about God is he forgives us of our sins and he throws our sins into the sea of forgetfulness and he makes us a new creature. He gives us new relationships. But as we progress into those new relationships, as we continue to move forward, we got to know and be notified by the Holy Spirit if there's something that's affecting um, somebody that we could pray for it, especially the children, y'all. And so, of course, I want to raise my son with a stepfather, me, and have a, a blessed home, you know, because I believe that's the perfect will of the Lord. And so I'm praying that through, guys. But at the same time, I also have to pray, God, guard my children's heart, their mind, their ears, their soul, their emotions. In the name of Jesus Christ, because I don't want my children to be sad. I don't want my children crying, you know, and I don't want to bring people in and out of my children's lives and be a horrible mother. That's not my purpose. And I thank God because I have really great, um, really great friends who parented my children. They're great fathers. And so I just pray that I also have a, you know, when God brings that person into my life, that he'll be a great father as well. And I just want to just pray to God to just protect the emotions of my children, that they'll be happy. It won't be sad. They'll be glad. You know, they'll just rejoice. And if there's, it really, you know, as a parent, you just really want to guard your children's emotions, y'all, because emotions, the heart and love is something that you have to guard and protect because you don't want it to be broken. And so I just pray, God, today, if there's any brokenness in Micah's heart, if there's any brokenness in Keanu's heart, that God will just send his anointing. He'll just send his oil. He'll send the angels from the north, south, east, and west to just heal that brokenness. If there's anything that has been scattered, anything that has been lost, any confusion, God, any confusion, we just bind it up right now. Oh, God, we just bind it up right now in the name of Jesus Christ, God. And we just declare there is peace in God. God is a healer. God can, uh, he can step into any situation and he can step into any feeling, any emotion, and he can make things hold, you know, oh, some things aren't the best, but God can change it around. God can cause there to be life. He can cause there to be healing. He can cause there to be peace. And that's one thing about the God that I serve, the God of God, the King of Kings, the sovereign Lord. If God can do it for Sarah, if he can do it for Adam. He can do it for Eve and Abraham, and if he can do it for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he can do it for Micah. He can do it for Keon. He can protect them. He can help them. He can deliver them from those things that are trying to cast them away from the Lord. And God, I just repent right now. If there's any spoken word against Micah or Keon that hasn't been good, Lord, if there's any spell, any witchcraft, any voodoo, God, if there's anybody who has done or said anything against Keon and Micah that was not lovely, God, I just thank you right now, God, for just, oh, 
people, God, just blowing your wind, God. Just touching their hearts, God, and protecting their soul, God. God, all I got is you. All I have is you, God. And I believe and I stand on the word of God that, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are the God who will protect my children, God. That you are the God who will, who, God, protect my children, God, who will prosper my children, God. Lead my children into safety, God. Keep them from hurt, harm, and danger. And, and protect them, Father God, from those that try to destroy them and lead them into premature death. Lead them into, oh, come on, somebody, lead them into attitudes and carnality that is not of God oh God I just believe you that on today Jesus Christ that you are just placing a hedge of protection around my children God that you are uh, declaring and decreeing that the gates of hell shall not prevail against my children God that you're declaring that perversion God shall not prevail against my children God oh God I just ask you to declare that my children shall abide and remain in Christ God that their name shall be written in the book of life God that they will be blessed God that they will bless many generations God oh God I just believe leave you on today god almighty that you can do exceedingly and abundantly above all i can ask think or imagine god oh god you know where every snare is god you know where every plot is you know where every snare is god you know where every trap is god oh god there's some words and some emotions god that i haven't expressed god because i felt like i had no authority i felt like i had no power i had no say so hallelujah god i had nothing i had nothing to say god all i could do is just sit stand and wait sit stand and wait for the lord that's all I could do, God, because I had no power, God. I had no authority. I had no say so. That's how I felt, God. So what did I do? I prayed. I sat. I read. I prayed. I sat. I read. I prayed. I sat. I read. Hallelujah, God. And Jesus, you were still God. You were the God that allowed there to be changes, transformations, God metamorphosing God and that's what I feel now God that I can only speak God when you tell me to speak God because you already know those who gonna come against me and say you don't got no right to open your mouth you ain't got no right to say nothing who you think you are right God so God you already know those who gonna come against me and say something against me because I spoke something because I opened my mouth but God what do I do do I continue to remain silent and just let things happen? Just uh, let the children cry and not and, and and not even pray about the situation and just pretend, oh, I'm just going to turn my back? I'm just not going to uh, not let it affect me? But God, right now, I just ask you, God, to be on the throne, to stand up in my life and stand firm, to stand fast, to speak, God. Don't allow my flesh to speak. Don't allow me to argue. Don't allow me to be in hostility, God. Don't allow my wells to be strife or carnal, God. I declare and decree open space. I declare and decree the anointing of Bersheba. I declare and decree, God, the anointing of the oath on today. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, if there's any seed, any root, any well in me, God, that's full of hostility. Come on, somebody that is full of arguments, disputes. Hallelujah, God, I cast that down right now. I'm not trying to argue with nobody. I'm not trying to get in no disputes with nobody. I'm just saying, God, allow there to be open space. That the mouth, that, oh, just, just allow there to be open space. That's all I'm asking, God. Come on, God. There's a lot of things that I don't understand. But I don't, I don't, I don't open my mouth, God. I just say, God, allow there to be open space. And that's what I'm going to pray, God. If there's something I don't understand, and there's a situation, God, that I'm like, I don't know why that's happening. I'm just going to say, God, allow there to be open space. God, allow there to be open space. God, release your Bathsheba. God, dig your wells in me. Remove any dirt, God. Remove any jealousy, God. Remove the Midianites, God. God, allow the Israelites to arise, God. Send the angel Gideon into my life, God. Come on, somebody. Send the angel Isaac into my life, God. I need the Isaac anointing, God. I need the Gideon's anointing, God. I need the Israelites anointing, God, so I can overcome the Midianites, so that I can overcome those who are trying to throw dirt and put the earth in my well. I want heaven in my wells. I want water, prosperity, good life, inheritance, legacy, blessings, marriage in my wells. Come on, somebody. So, God, I just declare and decree, God, that the message that I sent will be place on good ground 
Allow there to be open space, God. I'm not trying to argue. I'm not trying to trying to take the place of a father. I'm not trying to be a man. I'm trying to be a lady. I'm trying to be a woman. I'm trying to be who God called me to be. But that don't mean I got to be mute. That don't mean I got to be muzzled. That don't mean I got to be deaf, dumb, or retarded. That don't mean, <laughs> that don't mean God, that I have to be isolated or not spoken to. Right? But God, it ain't about my feelings. It's not about what happened in my past, right? So I, I shut up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut up. And I'm just going to ask God a lot of to be open space. I'm going to leave. Right? And I'm just going to pray God a lot of to be open space. Right? <laughs> so God, I just declare on the creed in the name of Jesus Christ, God. Allow there to be open space in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs>